Hi guys, welcome to Real Talk with Real Food Recovery. This week we are talking about the practice of discipline. And I love our title about the with the emphasis on practice because really discipline is a practice. It is not something for me that has always come naturally. But what I have found is when I practice discipline, it feels like discipline begets discipline. And the more success I have in that area, I just have enjoyed so many grand benefits that it really pulls me into wanting to do more of that and lean into it because there's just so many payoffs that come with um, that calm brain. That's my ultimate goal to be at peace and have this calm brain. So the more discipline I have in my life, the more inviting it is to me to live in a mental space where I can thrive the most. Jamie, what do you have to say about this topic? Um, I love that it the the whole topic of discipline being a practice, right? So, you know, when we think about the word practice, you might think of maybe a, a medical doctor having a practice or the poor <laughs> an individual having a yoga practice. Um, or practice, you know, the, the phrases like practice makes perfect, which is hilarious. Practice makes progress, um, <laughs> but it doesn't make perfection. But what I really appreciate about the whole idea of or the practice of something is that it's, it's, it, it um, suggests that it's not inherent. It doesn't come easily. It's no, there's no expectation that, you know, that we're, that we don't have this. So therefore we're good, bad, or, or below the line or above the line. It's really just the idea that the practice of discipline can be cultivated and therefore <laughs> discipline can be cultivated. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's for sure the dare. I, I, the discipline is really, you know, my discipline is the bridge between my goals and my accomplishments. Mm-hmm. And and there are days that I, um, my practice of discipline is not as put together or as um, as intentional as other days. And that that idea of, okay, where is my discipline on point today? Where do I, if I'm not disciplined in these areas, where have I been disciplined in other areas? And and sometimes it's the dis- the practice of discipline of looking at, what I am doing versus what I'm not doing. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it can be applied in lots of different ways, but the idea that it's a skill that can be developed, it is not yeah. something that you were born with. It is not something that, well, I don't have it. So I guess I just don't hit my goals in life. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's, that is um, self sabotage. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, and discipline is a skill. Nobody has. It is a skill that needs to be developed and can be developed in all of us. Shay, what are your thoughts here? Yes, yeah, such a great topic, ladies. And I think we really need to redeem this word dis- discipline because in a lot of my root cause trauma informed coaching that I've done, I've had to work through a lot uh, for folk because of negative um, experiences around the word discipline, you know, or what they've experienced. And I saw a, a quote a long time ago that went, stop trying and start training. You know, if we think about the root word, yes, yeah, stop trying and start training. If we think about the root word of discipline, it comes from that word disciple, isn't it? You know, in, in different faith um, things around what is a disciple it's to become like the person that they're following or, you know, the, the people they're following. And so when we when we putting things into practice, um, and I love what you said just now, Jamie, about the, the practice. Yeah, practice makes permanent. It doesn't make perfect, does it? There is no such thing as it were. But none of us as little kids got, well, maybe there's those one or two that got on the bicycle the first time and rode it or got the shoelaces tied perfectly the first time. No, you know, but it takes practice. It does take that consistent um, stretching and growing and learning and stuff, you know. So I think we need to really access the the gift that is in that consistency and that as we just keep move forward, moving forward, growing in that um we will end up having the permanent um, that started out through our practice. So just, it's growing. I think at the end of the day, it's growing all the time. So, yeah. Yeah. And I also want to add one quote that I love by um, Abraham Lincoln. Discipline is choosing between what you want now and yeah. what you want most. Mm-hmm. So good. So I love, I love that quote. I think that is a beautiful way to end this talk on on the the practice of discipline. Perfect. 
And as you guys were talking, I it occurred to me that as we're talking about the the practice of discipline, practice to me is also means priority. You're mm -hmm. willing to prioritize what's important to you and you just naturally will start practicing the things that are most important. Sure. So anyway, Thanks for being here, guys. We appreciate you. And if you want to find out more about us, you can find us at realfoodrecovery4u.com. That's the number four in the letter U. And until then, we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.